G'day fellas and welcome to a casted game. We are here on Rocky River to witness two late game juggernauts take on each other. Not only do we have the Japanese, we've got the Chinese, two of arguably the best late game civilizations going up against one another. Let's introduce our players for today. Spawning in the north of the map in the color yellow, playing as the Chinese, it's Beastie. And from the south side of the map in the color Blue. Playing as the Japanese, it's Recon! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Rocky River. If you're enjoying this Age of Empires 4 content, make sure you leave a like on the video, hit subscribe, because it really helps out with the channel, the traction, and have a look at this. Already, we have got ourselves some sneaky little Dark Age shenanigans coming out. And I find this quite interesting, because I'd be very surprised if Beastie opted for any kind of water play on this map. But naturally we can see Recon is not even thinking about the water. One of the first things that comes to mind on a map like this is the water and the way that it plays. Previously, this map used to give five little fishing spots, shoreline fish, in every single pond. Of course, you'd have five or four ponds, so 20 options to fish for you, your fishing boats. The problem was, it was very, very strong, so everybody was fishing. Now they've changed it so that there's only two spots that you can fish from, and so naturally people don't do it anymore just because the investment doesn't justify the the return. Uh, but what I find particularly interesting is that Recon is going for Dark Age Spears. He's not against the Mongols, he's not against any other aggressive civilization in the Dark Age. What else is there? Like, maybe the English? This is just purely... Spearman massing. Now, why on earth would he be doing this? Well, there's a couple of reasons why he could be doing it, but the biggest one in my mind is because he just wants to push Beastie off his game. Naturally, Beastie's going to be wanting to play an economic style of game. He wants to go into two town centers, he wants to get his Song Dynasty up, and Rack Attack doesn't want that. Now, I, I might be saying Rack Attack, I might be saying Recon, it's the same guy. Don't worry, have a look at this. Look at this, already coming out, the villager. He's got it moving in around the back, and this is actually massive. This is something that is so damn big. Let me explain why. For the Chinese and for the Japanese, or oh, sorry, for the Chinese and the Juicy Legacy, uh, they don't put their, their sheep underneath the town center. And the reason why is because when their villagers drop off, they drop off tax. However, if they drop off directly to the town center, they don't receive any tax whatsoever. So to get that tax benefit, what they do is they build a mill and then that will accrue the tax every time you hand in. The problem is that you consolidate all of your food sources into one area. And if you go like Beastie and you go for, I, I would almost be tempted to say this is a little bit greedy, uh, and you, you place your mill down right on top of your berries, it leaves you open to the possibility that you may lose it all. And that's exactly what Rack Attack will be looking to do today. He'll be looking to not only deny the berries, but to also deny all of the sheep underneath the mill. Now, I know you might be thinking, Bedrongo, how else am I going to put a mill down in my base? And I'll give you the answer. The answer is you just stick it right next to your town center, like this, and then you put your sheep at the front. Or you can put the mill down at the side, put your sheep at the back. We always put the sheep away from the town center, on the, on the far side of the mill. That's, that's going to be the key. And the reason we do that is because there are so many sheep. Look, we've got seven sheep out here. It looks like he's probably got about seven in here. 14 sheep. Each sheep has got as, as much food on it as the berry bush. So imagine like 14 berry bushes that are spawning in around this mill. But have a look at this already. We've got those spearmen now beginning to siege down the village. Now, your question might be, Drongo, why didn't he go for samurai instead of the spearmen? The, the samurai are much stronger than the spears. That is true, they are, but they have the exact same siege and cost half as much. So that is why he's gone for the spears here, because he can get more siege per capita. But now, Imperial Academy is coming up for Beastie. He was looking for that Song Dynasty. We'll be moving these, these villagers off the gold shortly. The Barbican at the front will be very, very strong. Hopefully Beastie doesn't take the bait and go towards the backside. We can see that there are plenty of uh, plenty of, of, of units back here to defend this outpost. And once it comes online, Beastie is going to be in for a rude shock. Have a look at this. Look at look at how well-timed this was. All of the... All of the... Uh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, th This could be a dead villager right here. He's rallied the villager over onto that. It will indeed be a dead villager. Uh, but look at the timing on that. The Fortunately for Beastie... His scout is now coming in with all of these sheep because he had so many sheep to start with. They've only just run out now. He managed to get Song Dynasty. You cannot ask for better luck of the draw right then. That is absolutely... 
uh, it's insanity. And I'm, I'm sure people will say, well, that was skill. Beastie had no idea this was happening. That just happened to be that the sheep ran out at the exact time, meaning that the only thing this outpost is denying are these berries. That is absolutely ludicrous. Song Dynasty now coming up online. Very nice timing there for Beastie. Competitive at five minutes. Faster villager train time will now come through for him. One villager every 15 seconds. Means that every minute this game goes on, he is getting further and further ahead of his opponent uh, by one villager every single minute. Now Beastie looking to add to this. Plenty of villagers now beginning to move out over onto the wood line. He's got plenty of vills over on that. Also, a lot of villagers still on food. I'm curious exactly what the plan is for this and how he looks to deal with this outpost. I love the way that he sneaks in and takes that one sheep that was right next to the outpost as well. There's a couple ways he could deal with this. The most common way that you deal with this is you just ignore it. That's the first thing because it really, it's not doing much here. You don't have to worry about berries. You've got so many sheep here. So my argument is that th this should just be the default for him anyway. Uh, but then I guess the the reality is that maybe the outpost went somewhere else. Maybe it went on the stone and then you're, you're up, up shit creek without a paddle because you can't get a second TC and maybe the Japanese guy is doing exactly that. But we'll ride on board now with Rack Attack as his age up has come through. Kura Storehouse at the front of the base. We'll be looking to probably put a second TC down towards this not this uh, top side position on the base. But it's going to be a stable that comes comes down in the back side of the base as well. So both players looking to play it out quite aggressively early on in this game. Beastie yet to put any production facilities down and now begins to transition villagers out over onto the mining camp to look to pick up some stone. He'll be aiming to hit two town centers. Two town centers is really the sweet spot here for him on the Chinese because it's enough that it will guarantee that he has a very strong economy in the late game, but it's also enough that you can get away with adding in units very quickly after without really skipping too much of a beat. And he'll know that he's got time, especially considering his opponent very aggressively dropping down this outpost and those early spears that came out from it. We'll ride on board once again, though, with Recon and see how he's doing as he throws down more and more buildings here. We can see he's got the forge down on the gold. No forge on the stone just yet, and that's quite important to note. So he's not looking at that second TC just yet. He has used up a lot of the stone, though. Normally, you've got a, a fair bit of excess stone in the bag. I'm not sure where it's all gone. I don't actually see it. Where has this stone gone? He's, he's not queued it up for the Daimyo Manor. Uh, he... Has he gone? He hasn't gone for any of the upgrades. There's no way that this is the only stone that he's got. Where has where the stone gone? He hasn't got a market, does he? he? Hasn't done some sneaky market trades or something like that? No. I don't know where the stone went. Oh, of course. The stone went into the emplacement. Of course. Of course it did. That naturally makes sense. Villager's beginning to move out. He's looking for the second TC. Very aggressive with this second TC. Horseman is out. Keep in mind, he's up against Chinese build speed here, though. So even when Beastie realizes he's got a horseman upon him, he will be able to get it up pretty quickly. Second one coming up the rear, though. Could be in a bit of a difficult spot. Look how aggressive Beastie is here. And well, now, indeed, find those horsemen together with the scout from his opponent and make a run back towards that base. A little bit too greedy there, Beastie, and unfortunately gets caught with his pants down as a second villager goes down in this game. Rack attack with the one town center play, looking to get an early lead here on his opponent. Managing to take out three villagers. He's doing very well so far. That second TC behind the scenes will just come back up inside the basin. A much safer option here for Beastie. And almost the, there's a reason why this is the mandatory option for almost every single Chinese player. It just makes so much more sense. You're always just going to be safe. And I think that's just the way that you want to play it in this position is you want to be safe. I'm curious what Beastie was looking for by taking this other than... Oh, can I just say, can you imagine if he was playing the Juicy Legacy and he put down <laughs> the Meditation Gardens right here? Oh my god. It's actually... So that that's... What is it? 48? So you're, you're talking about 150 plus food right here. If, I, if I'm mathing it out correctly, it's eight each, six of them, 48 for a, a, a stack of six. So yeah, just under... Oh, hold on, no. 48... Uh, 100, 150, 200, 250 food in here. A little bit under 250 food in that position. That is insane. That's absolutely insane. That, wow. Jeez. That could have been bad. Fortunately, it wasn't though. So where does Beastie go from here? It's going to be into a barracks and an archery range looking to defend up against these early horsemen. 
naturally, the response from his opponent is just going to be to go Castle Age. A really interesting decision here, but definitely the right call. One of the, the trends that we have seen from the Japanese is that, that there is a stronger emphasis on Castle Age. They've just got a very good Castle Age. Uh, together with getting those early Yoroshiro online, it naturally means you're going to have a lot of production from really high-impact buildings like the Stable. Once you've got access to the Mounted Samurai, these units are incredible when it comes to raiding just because they can tank up an extra shot. And especially if you're going up against a Town Center or a Barber, that are doing lots and lots of damage that first shot is going to be soaked up completely and now beastie starting to move out of the base looking to play a little bit more aggressively as those upgrades start to come in as well wheelbarrow wheelbarrow double broad axe and horticulture on the way through for him as well we'll check in with recon though and see how he's doing as he's about to click up to that next age no sign of a second town center just yet plenty of gold in the bank for him though so we'll be able to think about upgrades as well. Hands in the food, and now the Yoroshiros will come down, or rather the uh, floating gate will come down for those Yoroshiros in the uh, in the top side of the base. Forced away from this, though. He's going to have to switch into... I'm, I'm assuming he probably just goes straight into uh, Mounted Samurai, throws the first Yoroshiro into the, uh, into the stable. He could probably throw it into the barracks, especially considering the proximity to the barracks here. It would make a fair bit of sense, uh, but we'll have to wait and see how it plays out. Beastie towards that top side is starting to move out keep in mind no scouting information on this side of the map yet uh knows where the resources are has no idea where the villagers are but you can see he's got a, an attack command immediately queued towards these berries he knows the rough timings and will suspect there is something going on out here fortunately for him not going to be the case and you can see why beastie was so aggressively attempting to go after this area out here it is because he respects that japanese bonus of extra gather rate on the berries not just 25 percent not just 50 percent but a total of 75 percent gather rate on those berries for the japanese he needs to deny this area because if recon gets up into this area and he stays here he makes himself at home it's going to mean disasters for beastie because all of those resources are going to be going straight into units Meanwhile, back at home for the beast. Looks like we have got ourselves some walls beginning to come up. Up to 10 spears now. 7 Jukunu. He will be thinking about taking out this outpo outpost on the backside. It has been fortified though, which means he will probably need a few more units than that. He can probably just take it and try and bust it with villagers. But the reality is once that emplacement comes through together with that fortification, that extra fire armor just makes it so damn difficult to get through that extra health that it's got. So probably the right call to maybe even think about going into a battering ram or two probably not two just a battering ram uh would would do second outpost here in the middle of the map emplacements already come through for him mounted samurai not yet out on the field instead gonna be opting for samurai putting that yoroshiro inside where did he go where did he go nobody knows where did he go it was at the tc did he go in the tc he didn't go oh it, it is his barracks but it's the barracks at the back curious uh interesting it will get spotted out this this little position uh, towards the uh, towards the, the north side of the map. Murders the sheep, as you correctly should do. And it is going to be Siege Engineering. So just going to clear this out with a battering ram. Definitely the, the right call, the safest call. And the, the call that is going to inflict the least amount of losses on your own side, which is always what we want to try and move towards. Beastie now putting the astronomical clock tower in the back of the base. Definitely the right call. Want to keep that away from the front. Make sure that it's nice and safe. Both players will be looking to move into Siege this game. Of course, on the Japanese side, while they don't get any real siege advantages, one of the big advantages they do get is that Yoroshiro. And it might not seem that big, but when you've got a siege workshop with a Yoroshiro inside of it, you're talking an incredible amount of production. Uh, so that is what we'd be looking for. Samurai's now beginning to move up. You can see that he's gone for quite a lot of outposts down here. There's plenty of food for the taking. The question is going to be about whether these units are going to be going the way of the dodo. We can see that the, they're struggling with the amount of, uh, of towers that are here. And naturally, Beastie is looking for fortifications on these outposts. Fourth outpost going to be coming up. He's got 14 villagers here on the front. Castle Age comes through for him. Going to be moving into those second level upgrades. The... Jukunu upgrades coming through straight away. Balance projectiles on the way in. Not really going to make too much of a difference at the moment. Uh, of course, as long as the veterancy for the Jukunu comes in soon as well. It's got plenty of resources in the bank for it, so expect to see it soon. And expect to see some crossbows on the field shortly as well. Naturally, we want to be always trending towards that crossbow spear combo as the Chinese. It feels really nice to play it when you are when you, when you're in this uh when, when you're in this type of game. But now just have a look at this. He's just working down all of these samurai one by one. They can't do anything about it. Sprinkled emplacement coming through now for Beastie on this outpost. 
there's just no way you're getting through this without a whole lot of battering rams. And even then, you're probably going to think twice about it. It just... It doesn't make any sense how strong this position is. You can see how much the samurai are struggling with it as those outposts get the last little shots on it. Very nicely played there by Beastie on the defense. We'll check in on the south side, though, and see how Recon is doing. He's got a beautiful little farming economy beginning to build up. The Daimyo Mana is through. Yet to get to that Daimyo Palace just yet, but we're only 15 minutes into this game. And as I alluded to at the beginning of this game, these guys are juggernaut behemoths in the late game. Uh, and, uh, well, we're not quite in the late game yet, but expect that both players will look to try and secure their strength in the late game. When it comes to late game, I'm thinking Mass Samurai for the Japanese. Of course, we love to see Mass Samurai. It's so difficult to deal with unless you've got a really good AoE answer, which the, the Chinese do have, but it's expensive to get to. So whether they'll be able to do it, it will be a different... A different, uh, a different question. But once again, look at this. A fifth outpost now coming down. Just when you thought... I, I, I really didn't think these, uh, these berries were this valuable. But look at how many units he's willing to throw away from this. Recon is just throwing units into this meat grinder here. He does not care right now like a honey badger. I guess he's just... He's getting a little bit of idle time here as well and just trying to deny out these outposts from coming up villagers jump outside he's going to try and look for repair here one villager will go down four still inside now looking to try and siege it down completely more is going to jump out but unfortunately the outpost does go down he loses the sprinkled emplacement that was in it as well so very nicely done there by recon but still there are four outposts to get through and that, that one was the only one that wasn't fortified a little bit of a walla lol going off there. Two relics at the moment for rack attack. At least that's what it says on the UI. You, you can never trust this because of the Yorishiros. I can confirm it is indeed two relics in the bag for him. Should be a monastery in the back. There is indeed one relic in the bag for him. Second relic at the top and a third relic on the way in right now. It's funny how you can just always pick the monk on the map. I'm just like, yeah, that guy looks like he's kind of moving slow enough to be a monk. That's him, baby. That's him. All right, so at this stage of the game, you'd have to say Beastie is ahead by a mile simply because he's gone into two TCs. That is the big advantage that he's got. Two TCs, Song Dynasty, so effectively 2.66 repeating town centers compared to his opponent who is only on the one TC. Now, granted, you could put the Yorushira inside there, uh, increase that to 1.25, but you're still going to be quite behind. The weakness that Beastie's got right now is in this next two to three minutes where this push is coming. So I'll tell you right now, if, if it goes late, Recon's going to be in trouble unless he's able to catch up on that economic side. And with only two relics to his name and the third one coming through for Beastie, you think that it might indeed be the way that it's going to go. Crossbow numbers are indeed building up here. He's up to 16 in total now. Neglecting spears almost completely. He's let them go by the wayside. He's actually got one in queue at the moment. Uh, managing to take out the majority of these armored units now. Looks like we've got Onabagasha starting to join the field here as well. You can see he's up to 14 at the moment. Only one of them fighting on this front. You've got to be really careful when, when these Japanese players start mixing in all these different infantry units because you want your crossbows to hit the samurai and you want your Juganu to hit the, the Benaman or, or hit the uh, hit, hit the uh, Bagasha. Uh, and you, it's, it's very difficult to control if you've got a whole bunch of ranged units that all do different things. So keep that in mind when you're playing up against the Japanese that maybe it's, uh, maybe it's a good idea to, to go elsewhere. You know, you can always look to move into cavalry as an example. Uh, but just keep in mind, when you're playing infantry, you're up against one of the best units in the game of dealing with infantry. That's the samurai with no, no upgrade just yet, but it will have very shortly that unique upgrade coming through. Of course, we're talking about Odachi. Uh, Odachi is that, that, that lovely upgrade that gives you that extra little bit of damage against infantry. And that's infantry of all types. That's not melee infantry or just ranged infantry. That is both of them. All right. Army starting to build here for Beastie on the defensive. Still out number two to one. As you would expect with these Yorushiros coming into full gear at this stage. Up by 33 villagers. Has lost a fair few, but there's the nest of bees coming out for Beastie. The first one of the game. Has that clock tower title, so will be able to survive to the Palisade Gate. Has villagers on standby nearby if it has to, but I suspect he's not going to need it. Indeed, he won't. Even though the gate is wide open, the Onobagation, no, they are not allowed inside. This is a boys only area, my friends. All right, Nest of Bees is online. Got a nice little box back here to keep his Nest of Bees safe. But more and more units do join the field 
for the Japanese. You can see them rallying across the map, the Bagaisha, together with those mounted samurai. He's now looking to work on that top side. Villagers, instead of looking to repair down the gate, are just going to instead be looking to build a second layer of walls. Beastie, he's in a little bit of trouble here, and I think he senses it as he moves more units around to support. You can see these little walls coming through, but indeed he realizes it might be a little bit too late. Indeed it is. The villagers, he's really rushing to get it up, but the villagers are now exposed. The mounted cavalry going to try and look to take them out. Not able to take out any of the villagers. Doing a really good job to buy himself time there. And now he's actually funneled his opponent into a really awkward position in this back corner as more villagers look to try and wall up but you can see that they've had a little bit of trouble didn't spread equally onto the wall segments and just naturally all went onto that one single point nesta b's left completely open at the back because that wall never went up both of them will go down that's an expensive loss right there 1200 resources meanwhile those villagers get mauled completely at the top and now we start to see the japanese rising from the ashes just when you thought it was all over red rover recon says no sorry bob it is not happening not happening today it is happening for me though we'll say that much Zhuganu, nowhere to be seen in this army it's all crossbows now that are going to be looking to focus down these units keep in mind he's up against quite a few on so it will be difficult but he should be able to manage it as long as he keeps the micro in check more units under attack at the or rather sieging at the front he's rallying in non-stop towards this angle just trying to open him up from every single different angle that he can find and now a keep is looking to come down We'll get spotted out by Recon. He will see that keep and knows I have to go for that. I can't allow that keep to get up. If the keep gets up, I'm going to be in trouble. But you can see there is no two ways about it, ladies and gentlemen. That is a keep that has no doubt about going up whatsoever. When you got that many villagers working on a Chinese keep, 20 villagers putting down a keep, ain't no way that one is going down. That, there is no way that is blessed by the Lord himself, doubt. Uh, that is going to be a well and truly keeper right there. All right, well... We got ourselves a little bit of a break in the action. I think I might take another drink here. I'm, I'm drinking at the moment. I'll tell you what I'm drinking. I'm drinking a Solo Original Lemon Flavor. If I was going to do a tier list on, on soft drink, which I'm not, but if I was, I feel like Solo would be S tier. Other S tiers would be like Dr. Pepper. Definitely an S tier. I, I love me some Dr. Pepper. Uh, Pepsi Max. That's probably a hot take. Don't, don't cancel me for saying that. Pepsi Max. I'm not lying. I, I prefer Pepsi Max over Pepsi. It's weird. I don't know. Normally, those the, the no sugar drinks, they have that little bit of a weird taste. But I find Pepsi Max doesn't have it. And Solo doesn't have it either. Uh, other drinks in the S tier would probably be like your uh, water would probably be, be S tier. Though. I think we said soft drinks, though. Because if, if it's just a drink tier list, like I haven't even mel mentioned milkshakes yet. And we, like milkshakes, you could just do a whole list of them. <laughs> a whole list by itself. Of, oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, he's going to need a lot of lists right now because he's going to be taking absolute names. Look at this. The Japanese on a just melting the villagers. He's taken out 37 workers this game already. And yet still he sits behind 69 against 95 workers. Beastie right now would be sitting on triple digit workers. He'd be cool, calm and collected 130 plus. But not if the Japanese have got anything to say about it. You can see him just working one over on Beastie. Uma Bannerman joining the field here as the Mounted Samurai, together with the Onibagasha, proved to be a difficult to deal with combination. This is something I haven't seen before. The Mounted Samurai work very well together with those Onibagasha because naturally, against the Mounted Samurai, you want to be making Spear Crossbow, which is my favorite thing. And then the Mounted Samurai are just going to run away as the Onibagasha run in and then just deal with you. You can see that Beastie's response is just going to be to go into Palace Guards, though. So your Men at Arm replacement unit, uh, definitely a uh, an interesting choice from him, but it does make a fair bit of sense using them as that, that pseudo, not even a pseudo, but using them as that front line. Big farming economy now starting to come up for the Beast as well. 24 farms at the moment compared to his opponent, who sits on 30 farms, as you would expect the Japanese to be quite high on those farm numbers. But at this stage of the game, Beastie has been under pressure non-stop but he's done a really good job at defending i will say that much kind of looks like we've got an imperial age on the way through for recon shortly we'll 
undoubtedly be going into the Taganashima Gunsmith, one of the best landmarks in the game. Uh, but, well, at, at least it used to be. I don't know if I'd still call it one of the best landmarks in the game. It used to be really good because it gave you so much value immediately. Nice little wall coming through from Beastie. Throws down the stone wall and says, there is no response to that, my friend. Go for it. On a Bagatia, though, they're going to be able to run around. Have a look at this. 1.5 movement speed compared to the Palace Guards at 1.38. Absolutely obliterate. What was that? I think it was just a Bagatia on the ground. But behind this, almost certainly that Imperial Age will be dropped down any second. Where is it? There it goes. Taganashima Gunsmith in the wood line. As you would expect, and those Bagatia do get cleaned up. Now, Beastie builds a pretty big military lead at this stage of the game. Keep in mind, his economy is still doing pretty well. 35 villagers up despite losing 37 this game. Three nest of bees at the moment. Two Springholds on the opponent's side. So could look to put pressure on. But the reality is, he's pretty far away from it and going up to Imperial Age. You naturally want to avoid putting on pressure until you've got those elite upgrades through. Beastie, after seeing his opponent hit Imperial Age, will almost certainly beeline towards it, especially considering he is maxed. He's not under any pressure at the moment. He's got a pretty big army as well. He's got a lot of things going for him here. He can look for Elite Crossbow, look for Elite Palace Guard, and he can really just move into Mass Palace Guard at this stage of the game. The trouble that he's got is that he's up against Samurai, which do very well when they're in hand-to-hand -hand combat. However, if you're playing as the Chinese, you go into Yuan Dynasty, get that extra movement speed, and now your palace guards never have to deal with hand-to-hand -hand combat against the samurai because they just deal with, with hand-to-foot combat, I guess. is they, they, They're running away, and the, the samurai are trying to use their hands, but they can't because they can't catch them. That, that's pretty much it. Imperial Age is through. Roller shutter triggers on the way. Elite upgrades coming in. Was that elite upgrades for our Bagatia? It was. It also looked like elite upgrades for samurai, I thought I saw in there as well. Uh, I might have been mistaken. Was it Elite Mounted Samurai? No, it was Elite Samurai. Okay, I was not mistaken. Odachi is through as well. So that'll mean 24 damage against your Palace Guards, which have got 13 damage. And keep in mind, these are heavily armored units as well. So it's not going to be a fun day. Roller Shutter Trigger still not through just yet. He's got three out, which is exactly how many he needs to deal with this. But keep in mind behind this, there are plenty of crossbows to eat these Samurai alive. Nest of Bees continue to push up. We see behind this, it looks like it's going to be a very big landmark coming in. It's going to be that Great Wall Gatehouse. And now look at this. The Shogunate Castle going to be looking to defend against Beastie's onslaught of attacks. Towards that top side of the base, it will be the Great Wall Gatehouse that is placed down defensively. Villagers finally going to be going down here. Beastie cleaning up a whole handful. Double digit numbers he should get. No, it's going to be... Yeah, he does get it in the end. Springlets come through. That's their roller shutter triggers. And now we enter into the cinematic mode as Beastie looks certain he wants to take this fight immediately. Roller shutter triggers looking to fire off on the back line. They will do. Helping out with the Shogunate Castle. Elite units on that front line. Trying to break through against those palace guards. We'll be able to absolutely eviscerate them. And now it's onto those crossbowmen. Onobagesha together with the samurai. We'll get kited away from this. You can see them trying their best. The numbers are looking pretty good. And remember, you got that charge that's helping out. The Springwoods in the back line also teeing off towards all of these ranged units. And behind this, we hear more and more units that are under attack. What's happening back behind this scenes? Looks like a wall did manage to get up. And Beastie going to have to head back to the drawing board with regard to this fight. It looks like he, he's just kind of chilling at the moment. A single bang and would have changed this situation three times over. It wouldn't have, wouldn't have even been close. Uh, but it looks like uh, Recon is definitely playing it a, a little bit tighter than what most would. Uh, but Samurai now starting to build out here. Onobagasha getting mixed in as well. Units down on the south side looking to try and find an angle. And looks like Rack Attack will be able to overwhelm Beastie at this stage. Pyrotechnics on the way for the Beast as well. Going to be increasing that range of the Hand Cannoneers. Gonna be really careful against these Chinese hand cannoneers. They've got that longer range. And of course, if he gets to Ming Dynasty as well, there's the potential that he even looks to get the attack speed bonus on them as well from nearby units that are dying from that that uh, that special spirit way bonus. Even just mixing a couple of uh, Zhukunu or Grenadiers with them can really make them pop off. All right, Elite Palace Guards coming through now. Together with Master Smiths. I suspect he's going to be looking for Battle Harden shortly. Hasn't picked it up yet. It's a val it's a very valuable upgrade. Quite cheap and gives you a full 20 health upgrade. On top of that, you it also stacks with Elite Army Tactics. So it's really, really nice to have. Oh, sorry. It's, it's a 30 health, actually. It's cool. that, is, that is a lot, dude. 155 to 185 overnight. Now, granted, that's with your Elite Upgrade as well which will go from 155 to what, 210? Somewhere around that, maybe a little bit lower. 180, so go from 180 up to 210 uh, with the uh, 
Elite Army Tactics. Oh, actually, with the Battle Hardened. And then the Elite Army Tactics pushes that to what? 255, I want to say. I want to say 255. I'm throwing out numbers here. But let's ride on board with Beastie. Have a look at the military difference between these two now. It has swung back and forth throughout this game. And what I find really quite unbelievable at this stage of the game is that the Japanese player, despite having 50 less villagers than his opponent, is seemingly keeping up with absolutely everything in this game. The state of the game would lead you to believe that Rack Attack is on 2TC. I should I should just like go quickly check that there's like not a second TC somewhere. It's like, oh my God, this whole time he was on a second TC. It all makes sense. No, not the case. All right, well, Beastie's now on his opponent's side of the map. Have a look at what Beastie's doing. Gathering up the wood of his opponent, leaving his own woodlots. Woodlots? That's that's an arcade reference right there. Woodlots. Hey, I I'll tell you what, man. I've, I've got a really good friend that I still uh, I still talk to. We played arcade together. And anyone who doesn't know, arcade is like an MMO. Uh, came out back in like 2013, 2014. And my God, man. When this game came out, it was just like the pinnacle of MMOs. It was so amazing. And it got ruined by the devs. But... It, it wasn't about the game, it was about the friends that we made along the way. And I made a really good friend, and sometimes we'll, all, we'll just go back and, you know, there's a new server coming out for Arcage, and we'll go try it out. Anyway, uh, Woodlots. That, that was in our, That was Arcage. Anyway, uh, <laughs> let's move on. Gone are the days of Arcage, unfortunately. I look, for, I look forward to Stephen Sharif's new, new MMO, though. That's um, Ashes of Creation. Heavily inspired from Arcage. All right, well, keep will be going down very, very quickly. Have a look at the Azutsu. Nailing it, saying, get off my lawn. Sir, this lawn is uh, is strictly reserved for the Japanese people, and naturally, it is going to be a uh, an eviction that occurs. Uh, we we check back in with how Beastie's doing and take a look what we've got coming through. In the middle of the map, he is looking to put down the Imperial Palace, which is going to push him to Yuan Dynasty. Will also provide him a huge amount of line of sight in the middle of the map, and we don't quite see it just yet. But the hand cannon numbers are beginning to build. He's up to 28 at the moment which is a huge amount of hand cannoneers. Beastie, one sacred site, compared to his opponent with two sacred sites. He's looking to neutralize it. 252 health, there you go, on that final, well, final upgrade there for the palace guard with that battle hardened and elite army tactics. But now, on that south side, look how much those samurai just eat through the battle hardened palace guards. There's not a chance in hell, even three against five, you still feel outnumbered, and look at that. The castle just firing off, unable to one-shot the palace guards just yet, but they're still doing some pretty decent damage. Keep in mind, no AoE damage. It's like a single target. It's a giant rocket, but it's single target. It's, I guess it's, it's for balance reasons, right? You, you couldn't have... Imagine that doing splash damage. It would just, it would just kill everything. You, you, you wouldn't be able to push at all. It just wouldn't be possible. All right, let's check in with Beastie. I want to see. Have a look at the line of sight. It's probably going to extend to like here somewhere. Oh, there. There you go. Have a look at that beautiful line of sight now gets the ability to use imperial spies let's see if he clicks the button finds out where those villages are i'm sure he probably knows already where they are roughly that'll give him confirmation it's always nice to click because you might find something up here and be like hold on a minute those aren't my villages samurai numbers absolutely huge have a look at this azutsu in the back as well sprinkles there to defend them and all of a sudden uh i'm, I'm, I'm just realizing look at the military pop difference right now is, is Beastie in trouble? His opponent is more than twice the size of his army. And that is serious, okay? Let me explain. Th th there's actually a term for it. Uh, what is it? Lanchester Square, if I remember correctly. But essentially what happens... You've got so many guns on the Japanese side pointed at Beastie that it doesn't matter how fast Beastie's guns shoot because they just die so quickly. And naturally what's going to happen is that Recon will just steamroll over the top of him. How does Beastie defend against this? Now granted, he's got other things that assist him. He's got things like the Keep. He's got things like uh, your inevitable Great Wall Gatehouse if it, if it ever comes to it. These are things that can assist him in this situation, but the reality is there's a lot of units coming out right now for the Japanese player and I'm not sure if Beastie's going to be able to deal with it effectively. Azutsu number is really high as well. Keep that in mind. Beastie doesn't have a lot of siege. Beastie's at 150 vils, dude. I think now might be the time, if you were thinking about it, to delete villages. Beastie moving into crossbows? Very, very interesting decision. Crossbows. Why crossbows? I guess because they're low on, low on gold. That's probably the thought process. Dude, look at the Azutsu, how good this unit is. Just 
taking out walls. You can hit, see, see the ricochets behind. Ludicrous, man. This, this unit is crazy cool. I love the way he's clearing out the wall completely as well. Just so the beastie's got no angles that he can be running from. We'll ride on board with Recon as he begins to push up. Keep in mind those hand cannoneers have got some pretty decent range as well. Cannon emplacement from the keep is actually going to do effective damage here as that gate does go down in the middle. Big shot comes in. A lot of these on quite low health. You can see 28, 30 on one of them. Now, keep in mind the range for these units, 6.5 tiles of range. Beastie's hand cannoneers at 5.5 tiles of range. He can put them on a stone wall that'll get them from 5.5 to 7.5. So maybe that's the play for him. Look to put them up onto the stone wall and deny your opponent the opportunity to take those walls out. Now you can see it's not emergency repairs, ladies and gentlemen. That is the special Chinese extra materials ability. Not as overpowered as it once used to be, but still... It, it's kind of cool when you're not dealing with 2,000, 2.2k of immediate siege damage. Gosh, that, that that was a lot of wall that went down right there. It's so nice to see these changes to the walls. And now the Ozutsu finally come back to finish off what the samurai once started in the feudal age. They say, we are going to take these berries, sir. There's three berry, <laughs> three berry patches that are left. There's barely any berries left in them, unfortunately. So, you, you know, it's not a whole lot of victory right there. We'll say that much. But the one thing that really concerns me is that Beast is at 150 economic units right now compared to his opponent, who's at more than 100 population of military. Beastie now looking to try and close out that position. Palace Guards do manage to join the fray, get eaten alive very, very quickly. And Beastie moving... Oh, God, he's moving in a nest of bees. Oh, wait, did he delete everything? Did... What did he... How did he have... How does he have this many nest of bees? Is, is he just going to go mass nest of bees? There's a reason they call him Beastie. Today, he will actually... <laughs> he's doing it. He's doing it. I think he's memeing. Look, he's got four Nesta Bs in queue. He's got one Clock Tower Nesta B in queue. He's got five out on the field at the moment. I don't know where they are, but the best thing he can do is just keep them hidden. Just keep them hidden. Oh, God, look at them. Look at them. Look at them. So many Siege Workshops here as well. He's got all the upgrades that you want. Keep in mind, they did receive a, a, bo a uh, bonus... Uh, a bonus missile or a bonus, what is it? A bonus rocket arrow uh, in, uh, well, I would say the most recent patch, but that would be a lie. It was a patch about like, what, four or five months ago where they, I think they got that extra little bit. But this is, uh, you, you have the, the same problem with the Springlords and um, Nesta Bees that you have with crossbows and men at arms. And that problem is, let's say you, you, three Mangan or three, uh, three Nesta Bees against three Springlords. Who wins? The Springlords. 30 Nesta Bees against 30 Springlords? Who wins? <laughs> it's the Nesta Bees, dude, every single time because they've got AoE damage. You just can't micro enough. Now, I'm sure if you've got in, in a vacuum and you had really good micro and you're a supercomputer, sure, because then you can be microing every single group perfectly, getting all the shots off, spacing perfectly. But this is not one of those situations. And now Beastie will expose himself saying, come at me, bro. Have a look at what I'm holding behind here. And just see if you can deal with this. Beastie has eight Nesta Bees ready to go. This is going to get insane. In the middle of the map, there are so many units coming out from Rack Attack, but it's all Samurai. Remember that. Samurai should do pretty well against the, uh, against the Nesta Bees. The only problem is I've got a feeling... I got a, I got a feeling that the Nesta Bees... I'm just going to obliterate them, dude. Let's see what happens. We got to watch. We got to see. I'm, I'm doing it. We do it off the high, off the top rope right now. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. Let's check in with Rack Attack and just see what he sees. He doesn't see a whole lot at this stage of the game. He's going uphill. And keep in mind, going uphill, you're going to have that lack of line of sight. Beastie, he's hovering just outside his opponent's line of sight. Springles in the back. They will see the Nesta Bees coming through. Plenty of hand cannoneers. They're looking to come up the rear. Beastie from behind. Looking to come in off the top rope. Really taking that name by storm right now as the Nesta Bees fire down on the Springles. They're running for dear life right now. He's got a little bit of a way through. The stone walls are down. He can try if he wants to, but I don't think he's got the ability to get in there. You can see he's really not intent on fighting this. Together with the hand cannoneers just teeing off, and now he's looking to make a break for it. The Nesta Bees trying to catch up. You can see he's running as fast as he can. The Ozutsu want nothing to do with him. He says, eight nest of bees. Not today. He's got to turn around. An absolute massacre is waiting to happen right now. Look at the bees, dude. They swing. They, un they, they miss, unfortunately. Let's see if we can spot him. 
ready for an RKO off the top rope. Look at him following right now. It, it feels like... It, it just feels terrible. It feels like you're watching a bully going after his victim now. It's just like, hey, come here, let's fight. You can see him trying to quarter him in the locker room now. And Nesta B is able to clean up that outpost, leaving just a singed mess on the ground. On the south side, a couple of split pushes appear to be forming as Beastie with the trebuchet makes its way in. We've got a couple, a couple of rogues sprinkled down here on the south side. And both players head back to the drawing board. Rack Attack has been given well and truly enough information about the composition of Beastie's army. Hey, you might want to make some sprinkles. Not sure if, you, if you're aware. But uh, yeah, there, there, are, there are Beasties on the loose right now. Oh lord, he coming. Oh lord, is he coming. Wow. All right, let's check in and see exactly how Recon's doing at the moment. We've got more villagers that have come up. Beastie, he's just throwing them away at this point. Realizes I've got enough villagers. I can just get, you know, try and take my opponent's resources. I'm not too fast here. It's exactly what he does. Sprinkle numbers are starting to build here. We can see he's up to four sprinkles now. That trebuchet will be going down as well. Imperial official is out here. Out of all the things, the Imperial official, why are you here? Mr. Imperial official. Puts down a nice little wall across the middle as well, just to prevent that ease of walling back again for recon. Towards that other side of the map. Landmark is being repaired. Wants to pick up that extra bit of line of sight. Samurai jumping up on the wall just to try and take out the the uh, battering ram beneath it. A as you guys will know, that is the the <laughs> that, that is the RKO technique. You got to go up really high and then you drop down low. Uh, and uh, yeah, that, that's that's pretty much it. So Beastie throwing away a couple of villages naturally uh, to try and free up some of that population space. And look what he's going into. The only units he's making right now are siege. Six battering rams. Three nest of bees in queue. He's got ten out already on the field. Oh, God. Oh, Lord. Oh, no. Oh, Reddit had forgotten about you. The official forums hadn't written a post in 16 weeks. We were at an all-time high, an all-time record for days without a Fire Lancer post. Beastie looks to change it. Is he going into Fire Lancers? Why are we getting Horseman upgrades? Why am I seeing Elite Knight upgrades? Beastie, he knows the power of the Fire Lancer. He doesn't want to allow those Reddit users. He doesn't want to give them the gold. He doesn't want to give them the bait. That's it, man. I can feel it right now. I feel it. He doesn't want to rustle those jimmies. This infantry mass is significant here. But the one thing I'm scared of is the distinct lack of Springles. I, he needs at least twice as many Springles as this. I was channeling my, my inner... <laughs> not Adam Sandler. What is it? Ben Stiller. Right there. Oh, gosh. How good was that movie? What, what movie? Is it Dodgeball? I think it's Dodgeball, right? It's got to be Dodgeball. I, I, I must reference Dodgeball in like two out of three casts. Dodgeball gets a reference. I'm gonna, I think I'm going to go back and watch Dodgeball. I can't wait for my son to be old enough to be able to watch Dodgeball and understand all the elements of it. That's going to be fun. Did they ever do a second Dodgeball? Surely not. That, that, it's a timeless classic. They couldn't have. You can't, you can't do a sequel to a movie like that. It just wouldn't work. It'd be like doing a sequel to The Lord of the Rings. Ah, I'm just kidding. Oh, I, I know that would have triggered some people out there for sure. That, that undoubtedly... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't you... Do, backspace the comment. Backspace the comment. That was a joke. There was a trilogy. And I think they also had a prequel. It was called The Hobbit. I, I haven't seen it though. Not, not a big fan. I'm a huge fan. Uh, but uh, I'm only a fan. All right, we'll check in on that top side. We can see a little bit of a split coming in. It's got the Jukunu coming in together with the battering rams. And now towards that south side, the number of nest of bees continues to build here. Springlords looking for a way through. Beastie, 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 beastie massacres all of the villagers on the front line. They're trying to make their way in. Samurai coming in together as well. Ozutsu from the top row. Beastie going to be losing absolutely everything if he's not careful. Where do they tee off towards? Let's have a look and see as he's still losing it out. Looking to take off the Ozutsu towards the front. And it's a beautiful surround from the Japanese player obliterating every single nest of bee in its sight. Beastie, unfortunately, getting caught out of position a little bit too far forward and loses every single nest of bee. He didn't even need Springles in that engagement. He just surrounded. It was the classic case of too many fingers in the pudding and it spoiled the broth. Uh, what, what, what's the... You, you guys get what I mean, right? Like, there, there was too much attention. There was Jukunu up here and battering rams here. And we just, you know, we, we lost sight of the forest for the trees. I don't know what any of those... <laughs> I don't know what any of those sayings mean. All I'm trying to say is that I felt like Beastie had his hands <laughs> had his hands in too many pots, and now 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 he's now we can't now, now he doesn't have now he doesn't have dinner. That, that's essential. <laughs> 
Oh, God, this is one of those cursed casts. I can feel it, dude. You just know the ga the cursed cast, man. Normally, they come out early on in the game, but here we're 44 minutes through and we've only realized it's a cursed cast. Ah, uh, just when you thought it was going to be okay. Just when you thought Reddit was going to be a safe place for Chinese enjoyers all over the world. Beastie says, actually, um, I'm just going to win the game the other way that I can win the game. Um, I'm just... Wait, he's going up against the 17,000 health Shogunate Castle. Okay, all right. This is... I feel like... You know what? We are witnessing the final boss for these Fire Lancers. How many games have your... Or how many times have your games been ruined by Fire Lancers that just go into the opponent or go into your base, siege down all your landmarks, and the only thing you're wishing is, damn, I wish I had a landmark with more health. Well, guess what, ladies and gentlemen? Now I bring you the final boss for <laughs> for the Chinese Yuan Dynasty's Imperial Fire Lancer. And that is going to be this bad boy right here. He's taken out three or two landmarks already. Expect him to have a second round of Fire Lancers coming through shortly. Is that a trader? That is a trader coming out right now. Hello, how you doing? Come, oh my god, look at all the traders coming out. He's got plenty of them. Azutsu looking to clean up the cavalry. Definitely doing a decent job here. And Beastie doing a bit of a run around the outside. We'll spot that has he spotted it out? He might not even know where it is at this stage. He's just looking to siege down anything he can find. We'll have to find and locate that Takanashima gunsmith. I don't think he spotted it. We could go into his perspective, but it's not going to show us too much. Let's, uh, let's, let's try and have a look. It says he knows about it. Oh, he's going after the trade. Definitely the right call here. Shut down the trade. Especially considering he's going to have to bring quite a lot of units down here to deal with this threat. Let's bring that UI back in. Let's take a look and see exactly how Beast is doing as that second round is now looking to come through. Battering Rams at the top side as well. Look at them being rallied in. Beastie just saying, you know what we're going to do? We're going to do it the good old-fashioned way. I'm going to throw as much siege at you as I can, and we're going to see if you can deal with it. It's the good old class. It's the classic Beastie siege party. Oh, you love to see it, don't you? Once again, the Fire Lancers. He's got 72 Fire Lancers in queue. 142 villagers. Why not? I mean, this is all you need, right? You only need to make Fire Lancers. The Fire Lancers will be facing their final boss today, the Shogunate Castle. Now, the reason why I call this the final boss of the Fire Lancers is because it's got 17,000 health. That is a lot of health. And these Fire Lancers are going to have to get through it. Now, they don't actually get one shot by the rocket. You can see it does 191 damage. Uh, and these guys have got 234 health. But they still do take a fair bit of damage to it. The Spears now as well, trying to stay alive. Recon's down to 40... Or sorry, 67 villagers. But the military number continues to increase for him. Remember, he could try and take out the, uh, the landmarks from Beastie. But at this stage, look at the minimap and look how many there are. It's ludicrous. You'd have to take out one, two... Which, by the way, you'd, you'd need battering rams for or bombards for. Third one, a little bit further down. Fourth one in the back of the base. Fifth one, sixth one, seventh one over here. And eighth one. The eighth one. Is it? Is it really eight? Surely there's not. There's got to be six, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, seven. Seven? Seven, two, four, six, seven. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm done counting. Instead, I'm going to start... We're not going to count stars anymore. We're just going to count these uh, these Yuan Raiders. Yuan Raiders, gosh. Elite Fire Lancers, rather. Running into the Spears. You can see they've got their little upgrade that gives them that extra range. Spearmen loving this. The, the, the kind, it's kind of like Phalanx a little bit. I don't know. I wouldn't say necessarily better. It's different. 62 Fire Lancers out for Beasties. Deleted a whole bunch of villagers right now and said, we're just going to make only Fire Lancers. And that's exactly what he does. He looks to go into trade himself. He's up to 73 gold on these traders. And we can see on the other side of the map, the trade coming through for his opponent. 69 gold, so pretty even Stevens on that. The main thing that he needs to do right now is just get stone walls up. And I think that's the biggest issue that he's got, is that the stone walls, there's no clear onion defense that's coming through here. But now the battering rams have made their way through. Beastie is looking to take down the Shogunate Castle. It's pumping out villagers non-stop. Expect to see Vils pulled for a repair. Expect to see sieges coming through as well. But Beastie now going to be going after the, the farmhouses of all the things. Trying to population block Rack Attack from making any more units. You can see he's got 145 at the moment as he looks to defend against this relentless attack from Beastie. The non-stop siege is coming through right now. 
More and more units joining the party. He's got plenty of them in queue. Doesn't even care about villagers. Look at the resources he's got in the bank at the moment. It's going to be the Shinto Shrine hitting the ground shortly. And Beastie just loops around to another angle, non-stop pushing. At this stage of the game, it feels like the only thing that could save him would be stone walls, but it feels almost like it's too little too late at this stage. You've just lost too much. Your opponent's so far ahead. The resource count... Nah, it, okay, we, we can see what the score is. They can't. But when it comes to the military count, the only way you can mobilize this military out on the field is if you deal with what you've got going on at home. And it's so damn difficult to do that with these battering rams. Beastie now with eight battering rams on the field. 51 of, of the world's best fire lancers. He's not even making any more at this stage. What's he doing? What's he planning? What's he got in store for us right now? As these villagers begin to move forward, looking to pick up a stealth forest. Is there really nothing left back here for him? It looks like it's completely dry on that side of the map. And now Beastie... Oh, God. He immediately switches from the 46 Fire Lancers into 51 Elite Lancers. He queues them up in the blink of an eye. That is ludicrous. That is absolute insanity. And now also going to be working with the Siege Workshops. You can see he's got a whole bunch of Nest of Bees queued up. Five in the Clock Tower. Five out on the Siege Workshops elsewhere. He just wants to get them on the field. And now Beastie, 50 minutes into this game, is starting to struggle with this offensive. But I can't help but feel it's by design. It looks like he's regrouping. It looks like he's getting another idea. The biggest thing for me right now is those stone walls. He needs to get a stone wall across the front of this base. But it's so damn hard to do because there is no stone left on this map. The only thing that you can do, realistically, is sell your food and buy stone. And look how expensive it is at the moment. It's incredibly expensive to be doing that. So just really not on the cards. He's got a beautiful stone wall towards the top side. Unfortunately, it was a little bit too aggressive, so the onion layer did come off. But now these raiders will be in trouble. Spearman looking to come and help out with a bit on the defense. And more and more units coming to the fore here. A keep now going to be thrown down. Somehow Beastie's still got stone to play with as another keep goes down at the 51 minute mark. Surely he's just purchased all this stone. There's no other way he's got this much stone at this stage of the game. Nice little fire lancer charge there as well. Going to be hitting plenty of those of those traders. But the castle doing a good job of, on defense. Slowly but steadily dealing with the cavalry units that run through. Behind this, remember, Beastie's up to 50 elite lancers. Look at the amount of fire he's got right here. There is so much firepower. He's up to eight nest of bees now. More of them in queue. He's maxed at 200 population. Ten nest of bees on the field. Two bombards ready to come in the queue. Mass Lancer. And there is something that's very scary about Mass Lancers. Let me explain. Naturally, you think of the Lancer and you think of its counter, the Spearman. There's only one problem. The Spearman costs one third that of a Lancer. 51 Lancers, 52 Lancers against 52 Spears is not a fair fight. The Spearmen are significantly outgunned, even though they are the same number. And that is just because the Spearmen cost so much less than those Fire Lance, or than those uh, Elite Lancers do. But now, the dream composition for the Chinese begins to show itself. So many Nestor Bees on the back line, ready to fire off. We enter into the cinematic mode as Beastie almost certainly looks to rain down fire upon his enemy as he makes the final approach towards the Shogunate Castle almost unstoppably says to his opponent, bring it on. Bring it on, the nest of bees. Looking to make a connection. Absolute domination coming out. Look at the amount of damage. He holds ground on top of the nest of bees. Now begins to move forward to create a beautiful defensive line for the nest of bees. Together on the back, they fire off into the front, obliterating absolutely everything. The dream composition for Beastie in this late game as they tee off towards absolutely everything. Beastie, in the blink of an eye, obliterates his opponent's masses. And now more units continue to funnel in for Beastie. The land Lancers are still alive. The nest of bees, they still thrive. Look at them go as they try to join the hive. It just won't stop. They just keep on coming. There's so many bloody bees here. Somebody call Jason Statham. We need to keep these bees back in the hive because they've gotten out and this is not the way you survive. Oh my lord. Poor, poor recon. He's going down one of the worst ways possible. Nest of bee spam. You hate to see it in 2024 coming out this early and the bombard in the back makes it almost certain that this landmark will be going down. It's at full health, but it won't be long. 
He's going to have to rebuild, but keep in mind the economy is completely idled out, let alone dead. The villagers are all but gone and evacuated at this stage of the game. And now those landmarks are under siege. We talked about Jason Statham. We haven't even touched on Steven Seagal yet, but don't worry. He'll be here shortly to deal with this problem. I don't, I don't think he will. There's nothing. Uh, karate Chop wouldn't, <laughs> wouldn't work for something like this. Triple Bombard off from the attack of Nishima. Comes out. One shots the second Bombard. Let's see if he takes out the next one as well. If he's focusing the nest of bees, but unfortunately, they all got obliterated. Oh, the tag and Ashima almost saving the day right there. That was so many tickets that were saved up for a perfect circumstance, but unfortunately, it was just too little, too late. He's still got forces on the backside, but the nest of bees just won't stop. Oh, my Lord. They're just like the S Club 7 at the moment. They never give up. Oh, you hate to see it. You really do. More and more Lancers continuing to rally in. The Ozutsu trying to pick apart these units. Struggling to keep their head above water, though. You can see the Nest of Bees just absolutely demolishing the back line together with those Lancers that just don't stop running through. And now the final breath of the, the, the big town center for the Japanese as it does go down. And with that, almost certainly securing the game. Beastie Walls in the relics for good luck at this stage. That's pretty much it. And throws down. A, he's throwing down. He's at a pagoda in the enemy's base. Not like this, Beastie. Not like this, ladies and gentlemen. An incredible game. An incredible performance right there from the Beast. Able to take down an insane Japanese army in the late game. Make sure you go and check them out. I'll leave links down in the description of where you can watch them live. You already know, but we'll put it in there anyway. Thank you so much for watching.